Drew and Ted is finally coming out on VOD. Danny Glover, solo, Lando stuff. Yes. Movie minds. That and more. Yeah. What's up, guys? This is Ish. And this is Ant. And we're Movie Minds, where we keep you up to date with all the movie news, reviews, and some shows. Hey, hey, and follow us on all our social media platforms. We'd appreciate it, guys. Press the like button. Hit it in the face like that Sniper Wharf girl says. <laughs> I like her. I think she's really, I love her videos. Anyway, uh, yeah, please comment, guys, for anything we have. We have some really interesting news that have just come out. Yeah, on, so some breaking check stuff. this out. All right, y'all. So we're going to go right into honorable mentions. Yeah, guys. So it came out in IndieWire today that uh, they uh, that the Oscars were uh, thinking about postponing it uh, towards uh, April. Towards April, mm -hmm. uh, and because uh, they checked with the Los Angeles Health Department and they asked them, hey, when should we have these Oscars? When do you think this would be a good idea since they're held in Los Angeles? And so <laughs> the Los Angeles uh, Health Never. Department told them, as long as you can. And so I guess usually the, the Oscars come out around fe February. Yeah. And so uh, they also film it around February as well. Mm -hmm. And so they come out around that time. However, this... Prolonging it till April um, is is quite a change. I mean, the last time they did it, they've done it a, another three times. The first time they did it was in the LA floods in 1938. They also did it uh, with the assassination of Martin Luther King in 1968. Mm. And they also did it uh, when uh, they tried to wow. kill Ronald Reagan in 1981. Now, I want to say that they haven't wow. canceled but they've delayed them. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. uh, from my understanding right now, this is the longest that they've, that they've delayed these Oscars for. They didn't even, mm -hmm. they didn't even uh, stop doing it when the swine flu was around back in, I don't know when the, the swine mm -hmm. flu was around, a few years but, ago. but like I said, they didn't delay them either. So yeah, that's something interesting. So we'll see what happens, but well, it seems like the golden globes is not, is not postponing. Yeah. Anything. It's going to be great to see the golden golden globes with the two movies that are out. That'd be great to watch. <laughs> so Tina Fey and Amy Poehler are going to be uh, hosting it, and that'll be coming out in uh, February 28th. Mm -hmm. uh, they pushed back a couple of months, actually. I guess the, the the Golden Globes comes out like towards the end of December or mm -hmm. early January, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun. At least they won't cancel mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah. But just to kind of give you guys a little bit about what's going on uh, mm -hmm. in movies, as far as uh, how many... Uh, movies are being delayed how many movies are being pushed back and how many movies are actually coming out uh we have the first one that's that's coming out uh mulan is not i'm sorry it's not coming out mulan is is moved and it actually does not have a release Sucks, date man. so we'll see when that happens yeah man also we have a uh, quiet place two that was moved back to April, 2021. That sucks, man. man. I was really waiting for that one. Yeah, so we lost I, it. I hope, I hope that one gets on Thanks, track. Thanks COVID once again. You suck. You suck COVID. Uh, <laughs> and then we have Top Gun that they pushed back to the summer. And that one makes sense. It makes sense because it's a <laughs> summer movie. I don't like it. It's, a, the 21, it's on the summer of 21. Yeah. So yeah, Top Gun, Tom Cruise, April 21st. Danger Zone back in some summer again. <laughs> so then also we have Star Wars 2023, uh, which is a lot, a lot of painful That's things. So, my, and I think that was going to come out in like 22, right? Yeah, 22. Yeah, yeah. 22. So they pushed all of their stuff was back. moved uh, of like actually a few years. So, yeah. It sucks. And then so also uh, Kurt uh, uh, Cameron, mm -hmm. also uh, Avatar, and it pushed back to 22. 22 and his first film was supposed to come out on the 20 on the on 20 on 2021 mm -hmm. so that's what's going on right now and yes. we have some tenant news right yeah and and so it's uh interesting to see that tenant has been on and off for the last few months but now we actually got some confirmation not too long ago today actually yeah. that um tenant has been pushed to and yeah, international in August, uh, or towards the end of August, and then a Labor Day was September first, I believe. Yeah, so we know that tenant, first or second. So tenants not coming out here in the in the United States till September, towards mm -hmm. the end of September. But the places where it is going to come out in August wow. are places like Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Korea, Anywhere. Russia, and the United Kingdom. Yeah. And they'll be cut, and that movie will be coming out towards the end of August in those mm -hmm. in those countries. And so the one that doesn't have. Mm -hmm. uh, a date of coming out yet is it's China. China. Yeah, because of the two and a half hour long long uh, right. movie runtime, right? So, yeah. which is kind of crazy. And all of this drama kind of points us to 
we need some change up in here uh, in this whole movie theater, theatrical uh, release. And that kind of leads me to the next hot, not next big topic, which no, is hot tops. Hot tops. Hot tops. So because of the COVID and uh, the pushbacks and who knows what's going to be OK to go to and when when is it safe? Um, all these things have been pushing back over and over again. I think both of us have been saying, hey, let's just get the movies right. on VOD. Let's yeah. I just want to stream it at home. Hey, I have a pretty big TV. I just want to sit down and watch a good film. I want to watch a good story. And with this whole tenant thing, um, I hope that it doesn't underperform because it's definitely I feel like it will. Mm -hmm. It's kind of evident that it's going right. to it's going to happen. But but news comes out where Bill and Ted and, you know, the studio that is releasing it, which is, an, um, I believe, Universal, um, uh, yeah. they're releasing yes. they're releasing uh, uh, the movie uh, again. Well, this, what was it? September 1st. And they will be also releasing it on VOD at the same time time yes like we've been saying it for all this time and let the people that want to go watch it in the movie theater let them go if they feel like they're comfortable enough to be around crowds and do the whole face mask and and do like the whole like bathing and, and hand sanitizer let them do that let us have a choice but also those who don't feel comfortable and don't have the means to be able to be safe or have pre-existing conditions and stuff like that, that are susceptible to COVID, let them stay at home and enjoy the same thing. Absolutely. Let us all as a society grow out of this and just step forward. I believe that this is a great, great first step. I'm very, very excited about this um, move. What do you think about all this? I, man? You know, it's coming out at the same time. I think it makes sense with a movie that that's, that's, this kind of this kind of movie i'm sorry mm -hmm. uh because it's a low budget movie i don't i don't believe i i wouldn't think that it, i'm not sure exactly how much they spent how much the studio spent mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like a very high budgeted movie so i do think like i, I do think that these movies that are a, a bit lower budget are it's very important and it's very smart for the studios to bring it out in theaters as well if mm. it's open and it's you know safe to go back um but also in vod for the people that don't feel like you were saying that mm -hmm. don't feel like going out and want to and enjoy it at home and so I really love this this information because I'm I'm a big Bill and Ted fan. I, I loved all their movies when I was a kid, yeah. and so the, the trailer is really funny. Yeah, I kind of enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I did too. And I'm uh, surprised. I loved how they go and try to steal their own song. I guess the greatest. I don't know how. And so it, it looks like the premise is pretty funny. I love Keanu Reeves. He could do no wrong in my book. Oh, yes. I love it. I love the fact that he's that they're talking about Constantine too. By the way, just. Uh, for Keanu Reeves fans and so great. I love that it's coming out I love that it's it's being able to to we're going to be able to watch it on VOD um but we'll see man I mean mm -hmm. at, at the end of the day I don't know how many people really love Bill and Ted or how many people are too familiar with their, with those characters I know mm -hmm. that we have a lot of young young audiences out there that still go to the movies and they make a lot of percentage of what of whom goes to the movies yeah and so we'll see how it does overall but love this news mm -hmm couldn't be more happier yeah man i am excited about seeing all of this and i believe that it's a good move i can't wait to see how people react hey guys if you guys agree with just letting the studios let's watch some new content some good content and good films let's back this up let's back up bill and ted maybe it's not your thing I mean, watch it maybe we'll do like a review of bill and ted the first yeah. one and second one that would be cool um but hey let's back it up if you guys really truly believe it our money will speak louder than our words so back it up yes sir let's go on to the next hot top all right man it seems like we have donald glover news mm -hmm. coming back as lando it looks like it might interfere a little bit with the continuity of what's been going on in star wars how do you mm -hmm. feel about that man? well see so this is um i think the continuity thing um is in question because they don't know what to do next with these characters okay. right um there's there's been talks about uh it being a uh, uh, a crimson dawn series that will focus on the underworld of star wars uh another one was like even talking about donald glover's um solo run uh -huh. in in a uh, in its own disney plus film uh, uh series but now there's a bunch of news about actual the actual whole crew coming back for an, a solo 
Disney Plus series. Right. And so there's a lot of things that have it has tra- uh, transformed and morphed into. There's a lot of sources like indie uh, Star Wars News dot net. Um, uh, man, just Star Wars Unity dot com dot dot net a lot of sources have been start, starting to talk about this more and it's all because there's a there's a a, a, a meeting for disney's uh, uh stockholders to, okay. that they will be able to kind of hear an update on what's coming up for disney okay. you know so that's coming up in august early august and so all these different types of news and and, and rumors they're all trying to bait us to to react i think they want us to to like vote what will make it bigger on on a, on a small screen like Disney Plus? And um, my my point of view is like they have a few things, and I think the best strategy would be is to first go with the with the movie that maybe it didn't it didn't perform as much as what they wanted it to perform as, but go with the movie with solo and and do a spinoff series on it and let let it just kind of breathe and and let the characters be flourish and and and, and just flush out those those new um new stories that you guys have um in store for us and then evolve into like the 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 uh cassian um I'm sorry, uh, uh, Donald Glover series, right? And series. Lando series and, and all these other things, crimes, crime syndicate, because we already got the no name star Wars series. Like we, we got it with Mandalore, right. the Mandalorian. Great. By the way, of course you guys have probably already seen it, but now let's use something more pop. Let's use the, the, the strength and the muscles that Disney has and it, and it's movies. You know what I mean? Let's yeah. use them. Yeah. No. And, and, Make no mistake about it, guys. The reason why these companies do this and the, and and information comes out this way, mm-hmm. they want people to 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 comment, to 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 give information out and how they feel about what they're doing and what they're thinking about doing. Mm-hmm. That's why they give a bunch of a broad <laughs> and a bunch of variations of things that they can do and what what uh what kind of direction these these uh these shows would go or these movies can go mm-hmm. to. And people are gonna basically they're they're gonna they're gonna comment especially the the fandom right the people that go to comic-con us everyone yeah and so believe it or not these guys are super smart they're out there looking at what yeah. people are saying and they're what, they're watching movie minds yeah, exactly <laughs> exactly and they're going by what people want and they're 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 really doing some fan service to be honest which is great which is they have which is important and they have to, to. Mm-hmm. one of the things that i'm really excited about is that if they do do this uh lando series which i love the character even back in the old star wars mm-hmm. love that character always you know i loved him by billy d williams was he was played um i love that they're thinking about doing a, a series with 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 lando and danny glover maybe and and going from being the young danny glover lando to the older uh, uh lando yeah. with owner billy of uh, cloud city yeah yeah, uh-huh. and so kind of like this back and forth kind of thing, which would be amazingly yeah. great because then that gives That'd so many, so, so many options, so many uh, appearances yeah. of, of Han, Chewie, you know? Yeah, possible, yeah. All those things because Lando was someone that always would would be around uh, uh, Han be Solo. Dope. So anyway, and no question about it, guys, this this news right here is amazing. I can't wait. The, Star yeah. Wars, like I said, has forever and is going to continue to just produce these yeah. great stories in Star Wars. Yeah, you can't stop Star Wars. You can't. It's going to be on the small screen for a while, so let's enjoy it. Yeah. I know Mandalore is coming out in October, just a few months away. So we're probably going to get a trailer really soon. That's what we think, guys. Let us know mm-hmm. what you think down in the comments below. Let oh, us yes. know what you guys think about this new Lando uh, series that may be happening and all this solo news and see if there's going to be a solo too. We'll see what happens. That yes. that Maul, that uh, Darth Maul thing at the end of the solo there's was kind of crazy. So there's, there's a lot, lot of story to tell there. So anyway. All right, guys. So let's go. go right into stream and chill. Streaming and chilling. Yep. And now we're going to go into our first pick which is something that I would consider some uh, garbage TV, but I like it. (laughs) Uh, It's on Netflix and it's called Selling Sunset. Um, This story or well, this series is about um, agents, uh, real estate agents that are selling the top um, properties 
in Malibu and Hollywood, Sunset Strip, pretty much. Oh, I see what you're saying. And so they're uh, they're all a bunch of like real estate agents. Most of them are women, really, you know, beautiful women that you know, very fashionable, very smart, very intelligent, uh, you know, confident women. And in when you add that, and then some some of the owners that are really really cool guys, I I, I like them. Um, there's a little bit of drama and suspense, and like even like some some famous Hollywood uh, uh, wives that are, are part of this like whole group. Okay. And like, uh, do you know, uh, do you remember green arrow uh, from Smallville? The, he's, yes. he's part, he's yeah, part of the, uh, 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 this I, is I, us I, cast. Yeah, I know. Who he is, right. Yeah. So his wife is in that and is, is in this series. Oh, okay. And I didn't, I didn't know this, but they got divorced very like recently. Okay. And so there was this whole drama about it. And so she's going through it um, through the, it's like the, it's about to start happening within the series. Oh, so this is the second uh, season and the season three is coming out pretty soon. And I'm telling you guys, like if you like the Kardashians, which I'm not really a huge fan of, but if you like reality TV, like, you know, junk food TV, I used to watch the, the Cardis. Yeah. I, I really suggest you guys watch this. I, I watched it on my own. I watched the first season. I loved it. And then I got my wife hooked on it, and she loves it now. So she she was the one that told me, hey, uh, season three is coming out on August 7th. So you got to check it out. Trust me, it's a good time. It's a good time on TV. Sounds good, man. I might yeah. check that one out, man. It sounds like a lot of drama fun. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> so my, week, my pick of the week is going to be a movie that is on HBO Max, and you can stream it on, on, on Prime and all these other streaming services as well if you buy it. But uh, right now, the one that they're showing it on for free, uh, well, not free, but on HBO Max, um, mm -hmm. if you have a subscription there, is Blast from the Past with Brendan Fraser and Alicia Alicia Silverstone. We also have other people uh, mm. that come out in that movie um, that are really, really super funny. Yeah. Um, uh, Christopher Walken comes out in it, which he's amazing and great in. Oh, wow. And uh, the movie, I hadn't seen this movie for the longest time, I think when I was a kid, I watched it for the very first time. Yeah. And then I just recently saw it again. And I, me and my wife watched it. And I was like, so blessed by watching this movie, guys. I yeah. was laughing my butt off again. It just really brought a lot of memories back. And I just remember how great of a of an actor Brendan Fraser and not to be mistaken that this movie is just like oh my god Oscar worthy or anything like that no but it has a very very beautiful There's premise a and There's a lot a heart of heart it. yeah it has a great meaning towards it and if you see and if you get around all the little clunkiness and 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 uh funny things that they do deep down in there it has a really great message for everyone yep. about what it is to be to be uh you know respect your parents and how you love them and what really mm. uh true love means and uh and then you see the other side of things and so uh brendan fraser basically uh just to give you a little bit about it it's uh he he's uh he has he, he wasn't born yet but uh christopher walken his dad and his mom uh, they live back in the 60s and they go they have like a fallout shelter underground. And so they think the Russians are going to uh, attack them. Mm -hmm. And so they go underground and it all it all kind of crazy after that. So they live underground for 30 some out years and yeah. then eventually they go up and this whole world is all different now. And uh, Brendan Fraser uh, meets Alicia Silverstone no. and then they embark in this whole thing and it's great guys. Check it out. Yeah. It's a great watch. You guys will not regret it. Blast from the past on HBO Max. Yeah, man. I love that film. It's been a while since I've watched it, man. <laughs> it's so good. Dude, I, it just, everything just came flooding back to me it's so good it's, it's really like good. room but like with a happy tone on it <laughs> so remember? good yeah yeah <laughs> all right guys well uh that's it for today guys let us know please comment below let us give us your thoughts on everything yes and don't forget mm -hmm. to subscribe guys comment press mm -hmm. the like button little notification button and follow us on all our social media networks facebook instagram twitter mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. and as always like always stay movie minded movie minded